This is a old fashioned four bolt Subaru motor. And I put a R154 on it. And the way I did that was I used a disc out of a Toyota 22R motor, which as you can see this wear line is a perfect fit. Always remember this hat goes towards the clutch and the, the flush disc always goes towards the flywheel. So I use the original pilot bearing in its original place and I use the R154 input shaft with no modification. So the spline is exactly the same as the W55. That's how I, why it all fits. So that's your system right there. Then I use the standard pressure plate right out of Subaru. That's gonna be kind of slippery, but we'll see if we get it. three guide pins to put the pressure plate on with down in here. And I got some washers in here because I didn't have the right bolts, but I'm not going to drive it. You always tighten these across from each other, just like you would anything. And you walk them down, you don't run them down tight right away, you just keep walking them down. So you get them tight, and you can watch the spring actually go down. That's what releases the clutch. The relationship between the pressure plate and the throttle bearing. So, now you got everything in there, and it's solid. Now, in order to get the pressure plate in the, in the right relationship to the throttle bearing, I have to build my own throttle bearings because of the length between that and the clutch fork. I use the original Subaru clutch fork and pivot ball. And that's all that went in there. That's the bell housing that I built, the inside of it. And then, I'm gonna slide that all up on there.
This is the outline of the R154 transmission with the guide pins in. And you can see it's a pretty nice fit. Um, R154 input shaft perfectly in there. Then I used the eight volt system. did in the bell housing is I put all eight bolts in there instead of just four. So you can use this on either a four a eight, eight bolt motor or a four bolt motor. You can see all these are in there. But on this hole here on the four bolt it needs to be threaded and on the eight bolt, it needs to be a pass through. So I put a steel insert in there and I thread it. So in the event you have an eight bolt, you just drill that steel insert out and you can use all eight bolts. I use a standard stock Subaru starter. Check for the engagement and everything, get the right depth. As you can see, this is nice and tight now. And what I do is I can release the throw out bearing in the clutch. And when I do, when I do, you gotta put some power in there. I can spin that free, that's the neutral. When I let it out, it's locked to the motor. The other thing I do is I use the original Subaru hydraulic controls. The only thing in this that is different from Subaru is the disc. So I use the original Subaru with the original bolts the pushing rod to put in here and that's your whole unit a lot of stuff goes on in there that you don't understand a lot of relationship to the starter of the flywheel and a relationship to the transmission to the engine where the pilot bearing is and how to get the throw out bearing in its midsection play in the slot so that you have enough forward and backward motion but that's all there is to it putting it together there's no uh, custom machine or anything like that and it's all set thank you